It's time! All right, coming up next, a heavyweight collision between Bruce Lee and Mursad Bekta. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get there, his back immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight. Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 13 wins, four losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Merced Bechtel. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. spots. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, what a punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, big head kick. 
continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Left hand punch to the clinch. Nice combination of elbows there by Bechtel. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. They're certainly getting after it early. Connects with a right. Oh, he eats a knee. Unable to connect with the right. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Nice strike. Oh, collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Huge he land. Just over three minutes to go. He is all about that left kick to the body. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Bechtick gets the takedown, could be big here. Close guard. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Bechtick. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, tagged him with that right. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finisher position. Now watch, he goes parallel, right? next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to... Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Wow. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hand stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use your... Another strike here to his opponent's liver. The defense has got to do something at this point in time. He was buckled with a similar shot earlier in the fight. All right, single collar tie now. Bechtick's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Leg kick checked by Mursad Bechtick. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue mm -hmm. to do that as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and 
at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, nice shot. Oh, he needs to start looking for finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Lee gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, that kick is good by Beckton. Flush right hand is true. Beckton's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. And now he's got the tie clinch. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Single collar tie now. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh! All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of... Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest. Go. Getting tighter. in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. Right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, one second of the second round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Bruce the Dragon. So what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was a very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission.